Good morning, everybody. I'm Joe with the Color of Merit, and I'm answering your questions related to marriage and being a husband. All right, folks, let's go ahead and open up with a word of prayer. Thank you, Father, for your mercy, your grace, your kindness, for allowing me to be here uh, today. I ask you, Lord, that you speak to my heart and let your Holy Spirit preside over this uh, live video. Help us to hear from you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, on yesterday where we talked about pride, uh, how pride divides a marriage. Uh, so that's what we talked about yesterday. I answered the question. So listen, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments right now. And if you're watching this video, you can also uh, drop your questions in the comment or your question or questions in the comment as well. I'll answer them in the comments or I will do a video that's dedicated to your question uh, if you put it in the comments. But I can't answer your questions if you don't put them in the comments. If you don't email me and let me know what questions you have, you know, then I'm not going to be able to answer your questions. But now I can teach you material here in these lives but they may not be what you want to hear. So if you want me to be talking about what you want to hear, I need to hear from you. Go ahead and give me those um, questions. Put them in the comment. You can also email me at Joe Robinson at thecolorofmarriage.com. And you can also text me at 678-218-9955. Okay? So I am looking forward to hearing uh, from you uh, so I can answer your questions here in this live video. Also, if you're in the group and you have not um, sent me a friend request, please do that if we're not friends. And also leave your email so that I can send you out some weekly tips that's going to help you as a extraordinary as an extraordinary husband all right so today what are we going to talk about today well let's talk about what if you're not feeling heard in your marriage what if you feel like you're not being heard what if you feel like your wife is always over talking you what if you feel like she doesn't she's not hearing what you have to say and you don't know what to do about that situation. If that's you, go ahead and comment in the comment section and let me know that that is you because that's a serious situation uh, to not be heard uh, by your wife. But I, I'll tell you the best way to be heard by your wife and, um, is to let her know that you are not being heard all right that's the number one way to do it is to let your wife know you are not being heard you can say something like they you know when we're talking and you don't have to do it during the conversation find a opportune time for y'all to talk so that you know she's open and she doesn't have her defense up or anything like that so you can also start it off by praying say god help me to get the words that I need to speak to my wife together to let her know that I don't feel like I'm being heard by her, okay? And so I want you to meditate on that. And as God gives you the words that he wants you to speak, I want you to write them down. It should be no more than one to two sentences. You don't need to say a lot of words. You just need to say whatever matters, okay? And what really matters is, babe, I don't feel like I'm being heard in our conversations. And you know, the next question that's going to come from my house, I'm, I'm sorry, the next question that's going to come from her mouth is, what do you mean that you're not being heard? That's what she's going to that's, that's the question that she's going to ask you. Uh, many times that's what's going to happen. Sometimes it may be 
different. Sometimes she might say, well, you know what? I'm sorry that you're not being heard. What can I do to make sure that you're being heard? All right, so let's deal with the first question uh, or the first answer that she, she might give you is, what do you mean you're not being heard? All right, so let her know how you are feeling. Let her know that, you know, when you're talking, that she over talks you. And then when you're talking, you feel as though she's not understanding what you're saying, that she's taking the things that you're saying to her out of context. And make sure you have an example to give her so that she can visually see or visually hear, oh yeah, vi mentally see and hear what you're talking about when you say you're not being heard. Because what you're saying, when you, when, when if I say to my wife, I feel like I'm not being heard, what I'm really saying to her is, I, I don't think you understand what I'm saying to you. I think you're taking what I'm saying to you out of context and you're you're not really validating how I feel you, you you're not taking what I'm saying to you serious you you think it's not serious and and that's really what I'm saying because we all want to be heard and understood now I know it's better to be understood first than to be seeking to be understood now if you are understanding your wife when she's talking that's good now it's time for you to be understood as well because we all need to be understood because when you feel like you're not understood you feel like you're, you, you what you have to say is not valued you also feel like this thing is all about your wife and and it's all about what she wants and and, and what you have to say really doesn't matter and I know I felt like that in my marriage, but I had to let my wife know that I feel like I'm not being heard. I feel like she's not understanding what I'm saying to her. And you have to be courageous enough to do that. But in order to do that, you can say, God, help me to do that. And when God gives you the opportunity, uh, when God gives you the opportunity to do that, uh, fellas, don't don't run from it. Okay, take the opportunity because if you never take the opportunity to speak to your wife about this situation, you're never going to get it resolved and you're going to still feel like you're not heard. You're going to feel like you're not understood. You're, you're going to feel like you're not a, in, you're not an important part of the marriage. And no one wants to feel like that. You know, your wife is brave enough to tell you when she's feels like she's not being heard or she's not um, being understood. And if your wife is telling you that, then you need to be listening to her concerning what she has said to you as well. Just as much as you want her to, to, to hear you and understand you, you need to hear her and understand her as well. But this is not about that. It's about you being heard and understood during the conversations that your wife and you are having during the conflicts or during whatever time that you two are talking. But mainly this is during times when you're trying to share a concern or you're trying to share a challenge that you're having and you feel like your wife is not understanding you, she's not hearing you, she's not taking you serious, she's just saying that what you're saying is not important and you want to make sure that you let your wife know how you feel because if you don't let your wife know how you feel she's never going to know okay and you might say you know my wife don't care about how i feel and i'm sorry that you feel that way and i hope that's not really truly the case i, I hope that your wife does care about how you feel but I think sometimes because what's important to you is not important to her she comes across as though she doesn't care so therefore you have to relay that what's in your mind 
is important so that she can understand that is important. Because if you don't think what your wife is, is saying is important, then you're not going to take her serious. Uh, but we should not have to go through that. We should always take every concern that our spouse has as serious. And your wife should do the same thing. But that's something that y'all have to talk about. If you don't talk to your wife about what's concerning you, then you hold it in. And what do you think happens when you hold something in? It's just like sitting on something. It's just like planting a seed in the ground. It's going to grow. And what's going to grow is not going to be good. And then what's going to be growing is bitterness, resentment, frustration that's going to turn into anger. And that's where those big old explosions come when you two are having conversations and you just had enough and, and you say, you know what? You never listen to me. I need you to start listening to me. And you start saying all kind of things, calling your wife names and belittling her. And then after all is said and done, you go back and you try to, you know, um, apologize and say, I didn't mean that. But she's saying, you did mean that, and yeah, you, you did mean it because it came out of your mouth. It's in your heart. You felt all those things. You didn't want to say all those things to your wife, but you got angry enough to be brave enough to say the things that you needed to say. We don't need to get to that place where we explode. We need to learn to say things when they're happening in the moment. And if we can't say it in the moment, we need to say, God, Help me to say what I need to say to my wife about this situation that I have. Whatever the situation is, ask God to give you a one to two sentence statement to say to your wife concerning what's concerning you. Okay? Concerning that you feel like you're not being heard by her. Okay? And like I said, if your wife says, you know, what do you mean? Do what I just said. Give her an example and explain to her how you're feeling. And if you don't know how you're feeling, you need to learn how to get in tune, get in touch with your feelings. And what do I mean by that? You need to recognize how you're feeling. You need to put a label to how you're feeling so that you can articulate it through your words and not your anger. And that's what's wrong with a lot of husbands. We don't know how to recognize the feelings that we're feeling. You can say, I feel sad. I feel angry. I feel frustrated. I feel violated. I feel intimidated. I feel all kind of things, whatever those things are. So let me just do uh, a Google search. Um on feelings. What are some feelings that husbands can feel that they cannot articulate? Let's see what comes up. Seven reasons. Let's see. Let's see what comes up. We, Because I, I want y'all to be able to label these feelings um, and understand that anger is not going to get you the results that you're looking for. It is, is not. Um, so don't continue to go to that. And I'm not getting a good result from that. So I'm just going to put list of feelings and emotions. And I, I think that's the best thing to do is um, do list of feelings and emotions. So here's a couple that comes up. Fear, disgust, uh, anger, sadness, anxiety, disappointment, confusion, embarrassment, frustrated. I said that. Surprise, uh, pride, uh, depression. Uh, you, you need to know how you feel. You, you do... Do, like I said, list of emotions, and a list of emotions will come up, and 
you need to study those emotions and match what you what you match what you feel with the emotion so that you can start telling your wife how you feel. So I'm looking at a list of emotion. Let me um, let me see if I can share my page with you. Let me share see if I can share my screen with you. Um, well, I'm not going to try to do that because I'm not showing the way how to do it. I know when uh, YouTube you can do that, but here I'll have to figure that out. So I'm just going to read what I what I'm seeing here. So here's a list of in emotions and I want you to do your own because I need you to know how to articulate to your wife how you're feeling and I'm not saying do it in an angry speak from your heart and not your anger you don't need to speak from your your anger you need to speak from your heart heart is going to be genuine heart is going to tell your wife how you are really feeling she's going to really connect with you and if she really cares she's going to hear it hear what you're saying and most of you guys your wife cares and if she doesn't give you a good response then when you say these things I need you to start praying for your wife I need you to start praying and asking God to help you see who your wife truly is so that things can get fixed and and I, I already know that if that's the case y'all need to seek marriage counseling and we we have that available at the color of marriage and if you need to do some one-on-one -on -one counseling I'm available to do that as well so let me read a few more lists of emotions in the anger department. Annoyed, raging, livid, fed up, irritated, mad, critical, agitated, resentful, disgusted, outraged, furious, bitter. In the sad department, upset, sorrowful, crushed, dejected, heavy, depressed, disgust, uh, hateful, mournful, weepy, uh, desperate, frustrated. In the confusion section, uh, doubtful. Uh, hesitant, uncertain, shy, unsure, pessimistic, uh, indecisive, perplexed, embarrassed, uh, lost, uh, tense, uh, and, and there, there's other ones. And I'm just giving you the the negative. Not so. No, they're not really negative, but they're the the the, the emotions that make you that you don't want to feel, um, that you you want to express. You know, because we have the happy, we know when we're glad, we know when we're joyful, we know when we're grateful, we know when we're pleased, we know when we're optimistic, we know when we're amused, when we're delighted, when we're charmed, when we're loving, we know when we're empowered. We know these things, but these other emotions that are affecting us in a negative way, many times we don't know how to articulate, um, we don't know how to articulate how we're feeling and we hold those things in and listen uh, there is give me a second okay so many times uh, fellas we as husbands you know we have we have been uh, taught that don't show your emotions you need to be stoic and, and, and you need to be stonewall and, and don't show that you're upset and don't cry and things like that. If God did not want you to have feelings, you wouldn't have feelings. I promise you that. If God did not want you to cry, you would not have tear ducts. It's, it's good to have feelings because feelings explain where you at in life with a situation or with a person. Tears express sorrow ex express joy it express a lot of things it relieves tension we need to express our feelings we need to cry I i'm not saying cry the drop of the dime every time but you know when your wife sees you cry she says that you're not a man you know correct her and say babe men cry i don't know you know what you were taught but me and cry, we, we cry just like you. You know, I had to tell my wife, you know, I got feelings too. Because sometimes your wife don't think that you have feelings because you're not telling her. Now, let's go to the second response that your wife can probably give you. You know what? I'm sorry. I didn't know that you felt that way. And that's what most of you, your wives are going to say as opposed to 
um, what do you mean by you're not being heard? Because someone will say that as well, too. And, and I'm hoping that someone will say, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't know you felt that way. And they didn't know you felt that way because you didn't tell her. Your wife needs to know how you are feeling. So don't let your pride keep you from doing what you need to do. See, we talked about that in the last video. Pride is not good. Pride is, 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 is not going to lead you to anywhere good. I want you to look at the last video, uh, a pride, pride that divides a marriage, the pride that divides a marriage. I need you to look at that and understand that. And then look at what pride is. Look at the scriptures on pride. Look and look, do a Google search. What does the Bible say about pride? And, and look for um, Bible info, Bible.info or GotQuestions.org. Don't try to mess around with any other of the, the things that come up because you may look at something that's not there. But you need to know what pride is all about. And maybe I'll do another video on pride. If you need me to do another video on what pride looks like, go ahead, drop it in the comments. Let me know so I can do it. All right, so our time is up. Uh, I really enjoyed being with y'all today. And let me go back to the, the comment or the answer your wife may have when she might say, I'm sorry that you feel that way. And I think I answered that, but just in case, I want you to say, each, you respond to your wife, say, um, I'm thankful that you, uh, I thank you for saying that, or whatever is genuine in your heart, give her a good response and start letting your wife know the things that concerns you because if you don't, you're going to erupt, which, which you have already been doing. You don't need to continue to erupt. You need to share your feelings in a way where your wife can hear what you have to say and it should be through your anger. Even though sometimes you might be angry when you're saying it, sometimes you need to take a time out so that the anger doesn't come through you need to come you need to be calm uh cool and collect all right so anyway we're done with today's video if you have any questions make sure you drop them in the comment i'm here to answer your questions related to marriage and being a husband i want you to learn how to love better lead smarter and gain respect even when you feel like there's no hope all right, until next time, fellas, uh, I'll see you then. But well, let's go ahead and pray out. Father, thank you for the, today's video. Thank you for allowing us to hear the words that were spoken in today's video. Thank you for being a part of today's video. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit presiding over today's video. I ask you, Lord, that those who hear this video, that they get the information that they need from it so that they can be heard in their marriage so that they can start sharing their feelings and emotions so that they can get in touch with their feelings and start saying to their wives how they are feeling as a man and don't feel like they are being a woman because they're sharing their feelings and, and if they cry a little bit don't help them know that men share their feelings and men cry as well men get hurt just like women get hurt. And don't let them be fooled by what the world has taught men, that they don't need to share their feelings and emotions because we need to share our feelings and emotions. Our wives want us to share our feelings and emotions. And for those wives who think men are not supposed to do that, Lord, help them to see differently. Help them to know that their husbands are okay because they share their feelings and emotions and they cry. Help them to have a stronger marriage. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, fellas, see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing you. And if you have, if you got questions, drop them in the comments because I don't know what you don't, I don't know what you need to hear, but I'm going to say what God tells me to say and obviously it's something that you need to hear. But if you want me to specifically cover a topic, drop it in the comments or email me at joerobinson at thecolorofmarriage.com. If 
y'all need any marriage counseling, if you need any one-on-one -on -one sessions, I'm available for that. Text me at 678-218-9955 as well. Take care. Bye-bye.